Hello, my name is Todd Austin, and I am the developer designer of the All American Lawnmower Blade Sharpener. And uh, I just wanted to do a little more extensive video for anyone that might be interested in this. Uh, to go into a little bit of background, uh, three some years ago, I wanted to develop something to start sharpening blades on my own because I sharpen them myself by hand, I've had other people do them, and I was just never really satisfied with the results either way, whether someone else did them or whether I did them. So my main goal was to make sure that I had the, the correct angle on the blades all the time. And that was almost impossible to do doing it by hand. So uh, I started out with some wooden jigs, getting things uh, set at 30 degrees, holding the blade at 30 degrees, and then I would try and hold the grinder straight. And that worked for a while, but I realized that it could be even better than that with, with not a whole lot of work. So I uh, built a few prototypes, um, and it's developed into what I am actually selling today. Uh, during this process, uh, my prototype building, I showed a few friends they actually wanted me to build them one, so I built a few for other people and everyone really, really liked it. So it developed into a product that I'm selling today. Just to go over a few things uh, in the beginning, uh, first of all, let's talk about the, the way we mount this. Um, this bracket is not uh, permanently attached to the sharpener so that you can mount it in several different ways. As you can see, this one's mounted to a desktop. Um, I have another one mounted over here that uh, you could mount to the side of a bench. Uh, you could even mount this to your trailer if you wanted to and uh, take it with you in the field. Let's say you're a contractor and you need to sharpen up some blades while you're out. Um, cordless grinder, mount this to your trailer and it's completely portable. So that's the reason for this being not permanently attached to give you options, mounting options. Um, first thing you need to do after you mount it, uh, figure out how you want to do it, is there's an adapter pin that you'll need to put in your grinder. Um, the standard adapter pin that we use is an M8 by 1.25 thread, I believe, and it simply threads into the handle mounting spot. Um, it's just a pin with a, with a nut on it. Um, nothing special here. Just screw it in until it stops by hand and snug up the nut and you're ready to go. Okay, so once that's done, uh, you can mount your blade. I'm gonna start out with just a standard blade, not a mulching blade. Even though this is actually a mulching blade option, the head on this moves up and down. We'll get into that a little bit later. So the standard blade will be in the down position. You mount it so that uh, it's not really important where you mount your blade up and down. It's just important that it's in a straight uh, position and it's going to be a repeatable straight position so that every time you put it back in, it will give you the same grind. So you've got your blade mounted, you've got your pin in, you slip your grinder in. And now the next thing to do is you need to get your, the center of your blade roughly over top of the center of where you're going to grind. So this is also adjustable. Again, I, I don't have these tight. There's no reason to make them tight, but this pushing moves in and out so that you can move the center distance of your grinder, depending on the grinder you have. And again, the being perfect on this is not critical, just so that it's set close and it'll give you a repeatable grind. So after that's done, you're pretty much ready to grind. Um, you want the arm, this uh, uh, guide arms to be back towards you. And what I like to do is start at the bottom and grind up. Uh, the reason I do this is it just seems to be more natural. Uh, going this way, um, I can't really see where I'm going and you never know where you're gonna end down here. And when you finish out the end, it also uh, helps up here to not get like a tail or sharpen too much at the end. So I'm gonna just gonna do a quick sharpen. I'm not gonna uh, go into uh, a lot of detail in this. Now, the first time you do your blades, there is a probability, a very high probability that the angle is not going to be right unless they're brand new because someone else has ground on them or you ground on them or whatever. So it's going to take you a little bit longer to establish this edge. But after this angle is ground correctly, 
Uh, it literally takes two or three strokes to bring this blade back to sharpness because you're maintaining the angle and uh, yeah. Um, one of the other things I wanted to talk about when you're sharpening your blades is that once your cutting edge starts to get chewed up, nicked up, um, you can't really use that edge as a guide to know if you're making a straight line or not. Um, I'll, I'll illustrate this a little bit on this uh, mulching blade. What I do when I grind is I try to maintain this back edge as straight as possible. You can see this one's starting to waver a little bit. So I would try and clean up uh, the bellies or the, the holes just to get it as straight as, as straight as I can. As you can see on this end, I did a little better job where the whole edge of this is straight. That's how I like to maintain my blades, uh, maintain the straightness of the grind, and it just gives you a, a, a good idea of if you're being consistent in your grinds. I just want to talk for a minute about the two different models that we offer. Uh, the Model 5000 is uh, able to do mulching blades. Uh, and what I mean by that is the head pivots on it so that it allows you to do the standard angle at 30 degrees and also the mulching angle, which will still be at 30 degrees, but you have to pivot the head in order to, for it to be like that. Um, this is the, the non-movable head, which is for just standard blades, such as this one. If you never use mulching blades, then this is really all you need. Um, I just want to show how quick and easy this mounts to whatever it is you want to mount it to. It'll be your workbench, your trailer, if you don't want to leave it mounted all the time. I personally at home just clamp mine on the bench with a C-clamp and that's perfectly acceptable. So that's mounted, ready to go. Put in your standard blade. Make sure that you clamp it in a section that will be repeatable and straight. And once you have your bushing set up here, which I already do, you slip this in and you're ready to grind. That's all. That's all you got to do. I want to talk more about the mulching blade model uh, and how it works and, and why it's designed the way it is. Uh, this, the head on this pivots so that when you're in the down position, you get the correct 30 degree angle at the, the standard part of the blade. And then as it pivots up, it's the correct 30 degree angle at the top part of the mulching blade. Also, the position point of this is designed so that as you pivot it up and down, your grinder is also correctly centered over top of the two spaces that need to be ground. I'll show you how that works as I put the blade in. Okay, so the outside section of the mulching blade or standard blade, if you're just doing a standard blade, is with the head down. So when you put your grinder in, as you can see, we're centered over top of this and it's in the correct position. Now when I move this up, this makes this have the correct angle and it is again also centered over top of the grinding blade so that everything is correct. I wanna go over how to sharpen a mulching blade just so you can see how simple and quick it is. Uh, the first thing I wanna mention is I'm using a, a 40 grit flat blade. This is my personal preference. You can use a 60 grit if you want. It won't take off material as quickly. You could even use a hard blade if you wanted to, but you better be really careful because you will take off a lot of material in a big hurry and you could screw up your blade. So again, personal preference, do what you want. So glasses down, mount my blade. When I mount my blades, I uh, like to make sure that I'm in the same place every time so that I know I'm getting the exact same grind every time I go back to it. Um, okay, so the outside edge, uh, head down, arms back towards me, guide arms back towards me, and... Do half of the transition, flip it up, the other half of the transition. And that's it. When I flip my blade over, I like to just leave the grinder hang because it's faster. Flip it over. Again, make sure I'm in roughly the same position I was before. 
Put the, uh, put the head in the down position, arms back towards me. Half of the transition, flip it up. Half the transition, do the top. And that's it. That's literally how fast you will be able to resharpen your blades once you've established the angle the first time. Now, the one thing I, I'm going to talk briefly about, but I'm not going to go into detail, is I believe you should always balance your blades. There is a ton of opinions out there about what you should do it, how you should do it, if you should even do it. I'm not going to get into it. It's kind of like talking politics with your in-laws. It's just something that I'm not going to do with you guys. You decide how to balance your blades, but I suggest that you do balance your blades. A couple things I want to talk about before we end the video is, one, you will get a, a manual uh, with each uh, jig that you buy. It's got color pictures. It goes through everything that we talked about today, how to do mulch blades, how to uh, put your pin in your grinder, that kind of stuff. Uh, the one thing I want to mention is the standard pin on this is an M8 by 1.25 thread. That's generally an industry standard, but there, I know there are threads out there that are different than that. If you have something different, you need to tell us and we will get you the right pin for uh, your grinder. Um, that's, there's no charge difference there. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please go to our website, www.allamericansharpener.com. You can send us an email, ask us questions. We'll get right back to you, and uh, that's it.